Queens man accused of shooting and killing a man he said he was trying to rob him uh, was arraigned this morning. Now he is charged with weapons possession. CBS News Natalie Dudridge live outside Queens Criminal Court in Kew Gardens with more. Natalie. Chris, when the accused walked into the courtroom, he glanced at his wife, who was in tears, extremely emotional. She did not want to speak to us on camera, but told us her husband is a wonderful man. His attorney says this is an aberration of their quiet life. Now, uh, cameras, video cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but we still, we do have this still photo here to show you. This is Charles Foner. He's a 65 year old retiree. He appeared in court charged with criminal possession of a weapon. Prosecutors say a certain Search warrant of his home revealed he had more than 256 weapons, including pistols, shotguns, and AK-47, as well as 152 high-powered magazines and body armor. But he was only licensed for five of those weapons. Sources say it was around two Wednesday morning when Foner was walking back from a store on 82nd Avenue and Queens Boulevard, where he bought cigarettes. When he saw a man acting erratically, banging on windows, he told police that the man demanded his wallet and cigarettes. He said he felt threatened. Sources say he pulled out a revolver and fired five times, killing 32-year-old Cody Gonzalez. Sources also say Foner called 911 and turned himself in. Now, the weapon used in the shooting was recovered. It was not licensed. And the original arraignment judge actually recused herself. She had apparently signed off on a search warrant for Foner's home connected with the investigation. And today, a judge said he is very concerned with the large arsenal of weapons. And bail was set at $50,000. And Foner is now due back in court on Monday at 9 30 in Kew Gardens, Queens, outside of Queens Criminal Courthouse. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.